Our first laureate this evening in engineering and computer science broke through one such wall, bridging the qualitative content of the internet with quantitative techniques. She received her BTEC in computer science from IIT Kharagpur and her PhD from the University of California at Berkeley. She is the chair professor in computer science and engineering at IIT Mumbai. But to tell you about her work and to announce the Infosys Prize for Engineering and Computer Science, let me first introduce you to the jury chair for this category, the Johnson Professor of Computer Science and Engineering at MIT, Professor Arvind. After graduating with a BTEC in Electrical Engineering and the Indian Institute of Technology in Kanpur, Professor Arvind went on to earn his MS and his PhD in Computer Science from the University of Minnesota. In 2000, he founded Sandburst, a fabulous semiconductor company, and in 2003, he co-founded BlueSpec Incorporated. Professor Arvind has received numerous awards and honors, including the IEEE Charles Babbage Outstanding Scientist Award and the IEEE Computer Society Ari H. Good Memorial Award in 2012. Ladies and gentlemen, please welcome Professor Arvind. Good evening. The Infosys Prize in Engineering and Computer Science is awarded to Sunita Saravagi, Institute Chair Professor, IIT Bombay, for her research in databases. <laughs> for her research in databases, data mining, machine learning, natural language processing, and for important applications of these research techniques. The prize recognizes her <clears throat> Uh, pioneering work in developing information extraction techniques from unstructured data. Fortunately, it is easier to explain the practical uses of her work than the deep techniques she has used to solve these important problems. <clears throat> uh, until about two decades ago, most of the data that computers processed uh, was recorded in highly structured format. Uh, like the sales ledger or the inventory lists uh, companies maintain or the airline reservation system. <clears throat> the tables have turned. Now far more data exists in World Wide Web and this data is quite unstructured. Uh, for example, most of the data is stored as plain text, newspapers, blog posts or pictures and videos. <clears throat> Professor Saravagi was one of the earliest researchers to develop information extraction techniques that went beyond the world of structured databases to the kind of unstructured data one finds on the web. She developed normal mach novel machine learning techniques to solve these problems, and in all likelihood, these techniques will be used to solve many more related problems in future. Professor Saravagi's research is based on development of fundamental principles and had, has profound practical impact. Both of these characteristics can be illustrated using just two examples from uh, Professor Saravagi's numerous papers. Postal addresses, consider postal addresses, have definite structure, country, state, pin code, city, street, name, etc., etc. However, postal addresses that appear on the web and other repositories are often continuous text and often have some of these attributes missing or jumbled up. Okay, a challenge is to convert such unstructured text into structured information, which is much more efficient for handling queries and applications of such data. Previous work on this problem had taken an ad hoc approach. Uh, that were often labor intensive. Professor Saravagi has developed the formalism of semi Markov conditional random fields to automate the task of segmenting out sequences of words which might correspond to some named entities, such as a company name, a city name, etc. She and her colleagues created a software package, Data Mold, 
uh, which has been used by many companies to improve st address structuring in India. Second example of Professor Saragi's work is on extracting numerical information from unstructured text containing numbers on the web. Examples of queries <clears throat> uh, with numerical answers are, what is Microsoft's revenue? How many calories in pizza? Such queries are imprecise. What size pizza? What topping in pizza? What are the units, calories, kilocalories? Nevertheless, users pose many such questions and research engines to research engines and expect to get some meaningful answers. Professor Saravagi and her colleagues developed Qtree to deal with units and a probabilistic model for collective consensus, if you get the same information from several places. They implemented a family of algorithms, tested them, reported the results of their algorithms, comparing them to ground truth, such as the values reported by the World Bank. These papers exhibit a systematic approach to building foundational models and theories, uh, <clears throat> then developing software and carry out testing on critical problems. It was a, the unanimous opinion of the jury that Professor Saragi's work represented the high standards in, 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 in engineering research, solutions to practical problems, but based on theoretical foundations, which can be extended, analyzed, used to solve even more daunting problems. My heartiest congratulations to Professor Sunita Saravagi for this important recognition. Thank you, Professor Arvind. Indeed, uh, tackling difficult problems uh, with quantitative solutions. And we asked Professor Saravagi to talk about her work and its interesting applications. Can we roll the video, please? My work involves managing, analyzing, and finding patterns in huge amounts of data. This has applications in tasks like geocoding addresses, translating, answering factual queries on the web, and speech recognition. So the work I did on extracting structured from unstructured addresses has impacted how addresses are cleaned and organized in several large organizations. I am Sunita Saraugi and I am a computer scientist. Nature helps me detach myself from my immediate surroundings. The view of treetops and the expansive sky helps reset my brain. My best ideas come in one of two extremes. One, when I am walking alone detached from my work. And second, when I am looking at the details of data and model, and that's when I get ideas for further explorations. As a data science researcher, exploring hitherto for unknown ways of understanding and harnessing data to solve our day-to-day -day problems is what defines me as a researcher. Please join me in welcoming on stage Professor Sunita Saravagi. I request Mr. Srinath Bhatni, anchor trustee for this award category, and Professor Arvind to join the presentation. And may I request Professor Amartya Sen, to present the Infosys Prize in Engineering and Computer Science to Professor Sunita Saravagi.
Thank you, Professor Sen. Thank you, Professor Arvind and Mr. Bhatni. Professor Saravagi, a few words, please. I'm truly honored and humbled to receive this award. Thanks a lot to the jury for selecting me. As a citizen, I would like to take this opportunity to thank the Infosys Science Foundation for the very unique way in which the foundation is trying to further the cause of research in India. To all the youngsters out there, I would like to take this chance to send the message that research can be both fun and rewarding. I hope we will have a <laughs> Yeah, I hope we'll see a lot more researchers in the coming years and we can put India truly in the research map of the world. I want to thank my home institute, uh, my awesome department, my wonderful colleagues, collaborators, and several generations of students who have taken the, taken the research journey with me. I owe this award to the inspiring company of my husband, to the freedom of growth that my parents provided me, to the emotional support that I got from my siblings, to the rejuvenation that my nine-year-old son provides me, and to the uh, fun, fun companionship of my friends. Uh, ever since the award was announced, I have been touched by the very, by the very large number of people who are truly happy that I got the award. I hope I can live up to their expectations and to their joy, and I hope I can continue to do good work and serve the country in years to come. Thank you, and congratulations, Professor.